Hey everybody, it's Dave Berman with the Laughter Gym After Report. You know, we haven't missed any days. <laughs> We've been still having Laughter Gym every day since uh, late March last year. I just haven't been doing these after reports lately, but one of the things that came up in our discussion today after we finished our 15 minutes of laughter was the idea of relief, feeling relieved. And it was a, a, a lovely exploration and so I want to just share some reflections on, on what came up and also a book that I wrote <laughs> <laughs> in 2014 that I just never even think about it. It's not for sale and uh, you know, I haven't promoted it in a really long time, but it it fit into this conversation because there's a section about relief in this book. So I, I'll just briefly mention that too. Uh, so I hang around, uh, I'll get to that in a, in a moment. And I'll tell you how you can get a copy of it because it's a really useful book actually. So, <laughs> So we laugh for 15 minutes, as we do every day in the Laughter Gym, part of the Principles of Laughter program. You can join us. There'll be a link for that in the comments. And one of the people in the group said, ah, I was really, you know, reflecting on the, on the laughter once we'd finished, he said, I was really focused on laughter being the sound of joyful breathing that was just really in my awareness. And this is a beautiful reflection, uh, this expression we use all the time as a jumping off point, a starting point. Laughter is the sound of joyful breathing is very different from fake it till you make it. We, that's not our thing. <laughs> so another person sharing a reflection on their experience laughing said that they'd recently had a death in the family and prior to that they had a lot of thought and concern for this person who was nearing the end of life and since this person's passing the amount of thinking about the person had diminished a bit and that this, occur this, this change was noticeable in the time spent laughing. And I asked, I said, are, are you saying that the change from thinking a lot about this person to thinking less about them gives you a feeling of relief? And there was this acknowledgement, this realization, yeah, actually that is, that is what was being described in, in the reflection that, that was sharing. And I, I was just reflecting back what I was getting and, and asking, is this, is this what you mean? And in fact, it was. And so then it pointed us over to this book called Building Blocks of a Better Attitude, which talks about laughter, it talks about pronoia, it talks about the nature of thought, it talks about law of attraction, it talks about all sorts of things that have been part of my exploration and my coaching work over the past 10 and a half years. And a bit about relief comes from the book Ask and It Is Given by Abraham, Esther and Jerry Hicks. And it's the idea that from any starting point emotionally, whatever you're feeling, there can be another feeling that's just simply a relief from the original feeling. And we don't have to particularly target a certain feeling. You know, if we're angry and bitter and resentful, we don't need to try to get ourselves into some place of joy and celebration necessarily. I mean, that could happen in an instant. <laughs> but you don't have to try to make that happen. And if, for example, you went from, you know, anger and frustration and resentment to being indifferent or bored by whatever it was that you were focused on creating that anger, and anger <laughs> that indifference and boredom would be like a sense of relief from the anger. Like, so any two things could be compared that way to experiences and if we're just simply open to experiencing <sighs> the sound of joyful breathing just relaxing for a moment even just one breath <sighs> from whatever you might have been experiencing before. So relief is like a meta feeling in a way, 
We don't need to like cultivate it. We don't need to attribute certain things that, that cause it or create it, but just sort of recognizing that relief can represent the distinction between any two experiences. And, and the relief is, is always going to be welcome and, and positive and a, and a move towards some greater comfort and ease. And so it was, it was relevant in the experience of one of our participants in the laughter gym and it brought us to <clears throat> this older frame of reference that I had had for introducing the idea in the book Building Blocks of a Better Attitude. So relief is, is one of those building blocks. And the book's not for sale anymore, but if you'd like to have a copy, I'm going to put a link for the uh, Daily Laughers and Laughter Gym tip jar into the comments below. You put any amount you want into the tip jar and I'll send you a PDF of this book, Building Blocks of a Better Attitude. And if you'd like to laugh with us, we're doing it every day in the Laughter Gym, part of the Principles of Laughter program. We're exploring what is laughter teaching us when we experience it as the sound of joyful breathing. So I'll link for that uh, below as well. If you're not part of our Daily Laughers Facebook group, please join us and uh, check out what laughter has been teaching us for years and years there. Are people all over the world in that group. And uh, I look forward to laughing with you soon. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.